Hello and welcome to the ISPCC project outline and evaluation for What Works Learning Together Fund that was granted to us in 2021. My name is Louise Farrington. I am a Childline Therapeutic Support Worker for ISPCC and this is my colleague Victoria Housen, Community Engagement Manager. The ISPCC project carried out because of the What Works Learning Together Fund was to facilitate practical workshops for NVR facilitators who are interested in delivering NVR online. Child to parent violence, unfortunately, is a growing concern in Ireland. The ISPCC heard this concern from parents and caregivers and through referrals from agencies such as TUSLA. We set to answer the cry by training staff in non-violent resistance model and set up both one-to-one -one sessions and group work with families in delivering this model across the country. Dr Declan Coogan of UNESCO Child and Family Research Centre at the National University of Ireland in Galway adapted the NVR model in response to the needs of Irish families and services in the mid-2000s, with the support of Professor Ham Omar. The non-violent resistance model focuses on how parents and carers can deal with children's aggressive and controlling behaviour and gives them practical skills to use at home. Parents and carers learn skills to resist and de-escalate controlling and aggressive behaviour from the children in their care, assertively and non-violently. During the COVID-19 pandemic, demand for NVR remained. We at the ISPCC had to redesign our delivery that was no longer allowed to be facilitated and run in office spaces, community settings, schools and so on. That's right, Louise. And like Dr Declan Coogan and colleagues response in the mid 2000s, we wanted to have a response to the new normal of offering parents and caregivers support remotely. We are by no means experts. However, ISPCC had gained extensive experience in delivering NVR since 2019. With the demand for nonviolent resistance model rising, the ISPCC looked for alternative ways of delivering NVR during the pandemic. Members of the ISPCC worked on facilitating an NVR focus group and the outcomes were positive and comparable to face-to-face -to -face and group intervention. This work helped shape the ISPCC's online delivery and remote setup so we could keep working with families and delivering NVR where needed. Due to our success and informal interest from other organisations, we sought to expand and disseminate this knowledge and work with other professionals with the ultimate goal being more families gaining access to NVR training in a time of crisis and chaos. Yes, exactly, Victoria. So it's not only us at the ISPCC who've seen a rise in demand for supports for parents and carers experiencing child to parent violence in the last year. Other services, both in Ireland and abroad, have also identified this increase. ISPCC began to share our experience and learnings from the focus group work with local networks such as the CFSN in Ballyfermot, the Wicklow NVR network and Dublin South Central SIPC NVR network. During these network meetings, we recognised a demand from professionals to share our outcomes and learnings. ISPCC contacted Dr Declan Coogan to share our positive experience and he encouraged us to share the learning with a wider audience. Following Declan's advice, ISPCC applied to What Works Learning Together Fund and were given the fantastic opportunity to share the learning we gained from the pilot group work. ISPCC put together the content for the webinars and advertised online and through local networks across the country. We delivered two workshop webinars that gathered practitioners of NVR from across Ireland in 2021. The primary aim of the webinars was to disseminate practical and useful information that we have gathered from moving from face to face to remote delivery of NVR, build confidence in the participants and move their work online and gain feedback from participants. We organised a video recording to summarise this project and the following evaluation to highlight the results. Thanks Louise and as someone who is shadowing these workshops to deliver technical support I noticed you and your co-facilitators Sinead and Lisa explored some key topics like technical aspects to consider, tips on keeping parents and carers engaged, um, boundaries, communication and evaluation and feedback mechanics. Some of the main tips from the webinar included preparation is key, adapting and using professionals own skills and experience and resources where appropriate, breakout rooms utilizing parents to engage further with each other in a safe space, the one-to-one -one check in calls to support parents um, between group sessions and a lovely thing that was mentioned was sending out biscuits and some tea bags ahead of an online session that led to a feeling of warmth and community even while attending remotely and I know you're going to share with us some of the feedback we got from webinar one and webinar two. Thank you Victoria so I will now demonstrate our findings to highlight our significant results and how the funding we received allowed us to achieve our original aims and objectives that we've just mentioned. 
So our feedback form from the webinars consisted of seven questions. These asked participants, what was their biggest takeaway learning? To rate the facilitator's knowledge and presentation skills, how satisfied they were with the content, and if the session met their expectations, how likely they were to recommend the webinar and their overall experience. So from webinar one, the results were of the 29 people attending, 21 people responded with feedback. From those 21, some of the comments for the biggest takeaway learning can be seen here. 100% of the participants gave excellent or good for the facilitator's knowledge and skills. 95% of the participants were satisfied with the webinar content. And for overall experience, 100% of the feedback was excellent or good. Webinar two demonstrated out of the 15 attending, we had all 15 members respond. Some of the comments for the biggest takeaway learning for participants from webinar two can be seen here. 100% of the participants gave excellent for the facilitator's knowledge and skill. 100% of the participants were satisfied with the webinar content. And overall experience, 100% was excellent or good. Thank you, Louise. These findings are significant in highlighting the positive impact these webinars had for practitioners. The feedback overall showed pr practitioners had reservations and some trepidations about carrying out NVR work online. Some had concerns regarding bringing the same support and warmth from group sessions to online. Others had worries maintaining to technical difficulties. Not only did our webinars address these anxieties and answer these questions, the webinars encouraged practitioners to go ahead with online NVR sessions and groups. The results of which signifies this project's main, goal or main goals were reached, that more families across the country, despite a global lockdown, would be able to re receive support and advice, as well as training in NVR. The long term effects of this are also very promising. Even as we now start to come out of lockdowns, online facilitation prove a benefit for families in remote areas or from whom attending in person sessions are just not practical. Similarly, for practitioners, having the skills to carry out remote NVR could prove useful in cutting down travel time and venue costs when running groups in the future. We can see from some of the testimonials from attendees that the webinars and trainings were, reward were a rewarding experience for all involved. For instance, one attendee said, thank you so much for all these resources and for a fantastic webinar. I got so much out of it and the resources are brilliant. The impact and outcome from these webinars gave us at the ISPCC a wealth of knowledge to continue both our online training and face-to-face. -face. Each webinar created a space via the breakout rooms for open dialogue and sharing of ideas that we ourselves found useful and sparked ideas for us going forward. The webinars also allow practitioners, practitioners to share information, literature and future NVR events with each other and worked as a great networking opportunity for NVR around the country. The key takeaway from this project is that NVR model works for families in crises and feeling that they have no other options or feel afraid or alone and in need of specific specialised support and advice. The powerful work of NVR can be carried out in both face-to-face -face work and online with comparable results. And lastly, the work of this project could not be accomplished without the funding received by What Works Together Learning Fund. Thank you so much. And for further information, you can contact Sinead.mckee at ispcc.ie or louise.farrington at ispcc.ie. Thank you. Thank you.